Hey there, everybody. My name is uh, Will Jourdain with ICOM America. I'm here to uh, tell you a little bit about uh, some new features in the ID4100. The 4100 is uh, a new radio. Uh, it replaced the old uh, uh, ID880. If you were familiar with that radio, it's very similar uh, in terms of look and feel. But uh, as I say, it does have some new features. So let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, specifically, I want to talk to you today about terminal mode and access point mode. Uh, those are two features uh, which are uh, not unique to the 4100, but the 4100 is uh, the newest radio uh, on the market with those two features included. So what are they? Terminal mode uh, and access point mode are basically different ways of accessing the uh, D-Star network. So terminal mode uh, allows you to uh, connect the radio to a uh, internet-enabled PC uh, and access the D-Star network directly that way. Uh, access point mode, uh, similar to how it sounds, allows the radio itself to serve as the access point to the D-Star gateway or to the D-Star network. So you do still have to have it connected to uh, an internet-enabled PC, uh, but at that point in time you would communicate with the 4100 via another D-Star radio, something like an ID51A or uh, 5100 or even a 7100. Uh, and at that point, the 4100 handles the job of getting your communications out over D-Star and to the world. Uh, it's easy to uh, access both of these modes. You just go right into the uh, main menu mode and you come to the setting called DV Gateway. It's about, uh, it's towards the bottom, I would say about two-thirds of the way towards the bottom of the menu. The icon looks like a little cloud. You select that and then you've got terminal mode and access point mode just there. Uh, you select one or the other uh, and when you do that, you'll see in the from field in DR mode, uh, it'll say TM for terminal mode, which is what I just selected. Uh, likewise, it would say, uh, I believe, AP mode for access point. And uh, if you want to get then back out of terminal mode or access point mode, you go back to that same menu option select DV gateway and the option there will be normal mode and it'll put the radio back uh, into its standard configuration and uh, it's easy as that. 